you seem you enjoy it. That's that's oh, great. It's yeah. always an adventure. And we keep writing songs. In fact, we wrote. We finished one about five minutes before the interview started. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> if we're brave, we'll play it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to get you to play two more songs. We're right. coming up to the top of the hour, so let's have one more song right now, and then okay. we'll take a break. Well, let's do the new one. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's attempt the new one. This will be our very first performance of it. <sighs> Are you nervous? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't until you asked. Until you asked. <laughs> uh, okay. Two, three, four. Detroit in 1968 the time It captured my attention That shiny fire engine I chased it through the streets and past the neighbor
Pete and Maura Kennedy, live in the WLRN studio. That was great, Maura. Thank you. What, did you read a newspaper article? What inspired you writing that song? You know, I, I've been thinking about the whole um, man, ban on Muslims and ban on immigrants and ban on refugees, and it's really been bothering me. And the other night, I woke up, I had remembered, I was dreaming about this time when I actually did get lost in Detroit when I was five. I chased a fire truck, just like in the song. And... Um, after I had gone a little too far, I realized I didn't know where I was. And I, I was five when um, I knew I wasn't supposed to talk to strangers. I was told that. And it, there was a point when I remember thinking, I have to. And so now the, the thing is, you have to find someone who's not going to hurt you. And I remember walking down the street and I saw this family on the porch, um, African-American family. And they were um, drinking beers and having a laugh and they were kids. And I thought, if I go there, they look like my family. They're friendly and they're a family and they'll help me. And, and they did. They put the whole business about the sweet chariot driving through the city. That's what they did. They put me in their car and they drove me around until I finally found uh, my aunt's house. All I knew was that it was... Uh, my cousin June's house. I didn't know where she lived or anything. So they got me home and I thought they were strangers and I, I trusted them. And it, when I woke up after I remembered this dream, I thought I can put these two together because um, the whole fear of refugee, a fear of refugees, these are people fighting for their lives. It's, it's crazy to, to be afraid of them. They're, and they're it's the, crazy to shut them out. No, they're afraid as well. I mean, they're, yeah. I, I'm trying to imagine what it would like if I lost my home. I know. Yeah. I know that yeah. it's, it couldn't be worse for them. And to be turned away is just really unconscionable. And I, I, if you think about it, um, if you put those two stories together, they're, they're really not that different in the, in, the, in the sense that you have to trust people that you don't know. And that's what, that's what's, what being a human is all about, really. Mm. You know, I think. Well, so. we'll have more with Maura and Pete Kennedy after this top of the hour break. This is 91.3 WLRN in HD1 Miami, Fort Lauderdale. 91.5 WKWM in HD1 Marathon, Key West. 90.7 WFLV HD2 West Palm Beach. And 101.9 NPR for the Palm Beaches. This is folk and acoustic music. You're invited to a British invasion.